East New Britain has recently become one of the tourism hotspots in the country. However, as more tourists flocked into the province, so other issues relating to land ownership also emerges. Last week, the Tobebe Tovalingan Ratagul indigenous landowner group of Rabaul demanded an explanation from the tourism authority and its partners over what they claimed as an act of greed done by the tour operators. But the CEO of the East New Britain Tourism Authority, Gad Ransom, responded to that concern but said otherwise. Most of the operators now are all registered in our database. And uh, there's a, a few that have sprung up over a couple of years or maybe just very recently that are not registered. But sure, if, if they are bringing people to, to a site and they are not registered, then that's a concern. The landowners have since issued a warning that they will close down three ideal tourist locations situated on their customary land, Mount Tavulwu, the Hot Springs and Mount Kabiu. The East New Britain Tourism Authority, however, have sidelined itself from the debate but called on the landowners to sort themselves out as the issue rests with the Lands Department and not the Tourism Authority. The office stayed away from it because we don't want to be seen to be... to be in any group. We want to be in a neutral position. The Tobebe, Tovaling and Ratago landowner group is a registered group. Since 2015, the ILZ has since become the mouthpiece for the three major clans of Rabaul town, with the main focus of developing landowners' business interests. So all by paying fee bills, the Solid Gold Distributing Tourism Authority, deal with them ILG, ILG kiss him now by giving me to go down long or cast the end long all area where all sites is start blocking. It is understood while the ILG claim to represent the interest of the majority of the villagers, there are some clan members who don't want to be part of the group as there are uncertainties if whether or not they will be able to benefit from the income that will be generated every time a tourist ship birds in Rabaul. The East New Britain Tourism Board has called on the village leaders to conduct village awareness on the issues relating to land ownership as well as the distribution of income benefits. But unless there is an awareness done in the villages, the tussle will continue. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.